Hello, my name is Todd Lees, Managing Director of Latima Brokerage, and welcome to our Australian Cereal and Pulse update. Planting is progressing well in Australia, with canola just about finished, and farmers are now concentrating on getting into their wheat and pulses seeding program. We've certainly had favourable planting conditions up till this point, uh, since we started in late April, and the seeding program could be up to 25 to 30 percent complete in most of the regions of Australia. It really is too early to make any definitive uh, production estimates at this stage, but I think based on last year's prices, uh, farmers planting intentions estimates uh, and working on average in-crop rainfall for the year, wheat production could be in the range of 24 to 26 million tonne. Canola, uh, three and a half to four million tonne. Desi chickpeas, 1.4 to 1.8 million tonne. Uh, red lentils, 450 to 550,000 tonnes, and fava beans, probably slipping back more to an average type um, production scenario of about 300 to 400,000 tonnes. Uh, while we do expect the area planted to desis, lentils and canolas to, to increase at the expense of cereals and some pulses such as fava beans, perhaps the, the, the major determinant of the final production will be yield, um, that is uh, tonnes per hectare. Uh, as last year we had extremely wet growing conditions uh, which almost across the board produced record yields for most crops. Uh, the likelihood of this circumstance happening again I suggest is low um, and we're, today we're very much um, in an El Nino watch scenario uh, and it has been dry in Western Australia. So. I think we're a long way from realising any of these estimates. Uh, to the markets, uh, wheat, um, uh, wheat prices are a little bit firmer over the past week with APW uh, being around uh, $202 a tonne on the east coast for June, July shipment. Um, ASW is at a $5 to $8 discount to APW. Desi's uh, getting extremely difficult to find old crop offers. If you are lucky enough to get one, it could be around that 9.30 uh, delivered subcontinent level. Um, for new crop, um, again, offers a few and far between, but the range is between $760 to $800 CFR subcontinent. Uh, red lentils prices have softened, and uh, the price is now around about, or offers are now around at that uh, 605 uh, delivered subcontinent level. Uh, mung bean exporters, uh, prices are being uh, well supported by strong demand from China. So processing grade is about $1,050 a tonne, uh, whereas number one quality is priced at a $75 premium to processing. Uh, Aussie faba beans, uh, still uh, we're starting to see renewed interest in Australian faba beans as the Northern Hemisphere supply dries up. Price indications range from uh, $305 to $320 a tonne delivered Red Sea destinations. That's it for now. Uh, thank you for listening. Have a great weekend and we look forward to catching up again next week. Bye for now.